Bitches! It's me again, Tayali, and uh, today I'm going to explain to you uh, what I have uh, experienced on getting my card decisions in France. So, as I've, I've told you in my video that um, on how to get married in Philippines with a French husband so I hope you you've already watched it so this time I'm going to explain to you what I have experienced on on the day when I'm processing my court decision so it has a lot it had a lot of uh, papers so okay so upon my arrival in France so I had a long stay visa already with me. So I have here my passport. So voila, this is my Philippine passport. So this is valid for five years. We so this is it. Voila. And um, note always remember that after you get your visa, uh, sometimes the embassy don't uh, say that you need to go to the CFO or the Commission on Overseas Filipinos of Commission of Filipino Overseas so you need to go there because you need to attend a seminar so uh, this seminar is usually half day seminar and you are you are entitled to receive uh, two certificates and these certificates you need to uh, present this back to the CFO because they will be going to look for your visa they will check your visa and your passport so mine uh, I had a long stay visa so my visa I have two visas because the first visa is a uh, Shenzhen this is a um, multi-entry uh, this is a visa that allows me to to go out of France within Europe so I can visit Germany, Spain, like that long time. But we have to, it is uh, valid for one year also, so mine is um, valid until 2014, so it depends upon the council. So mine is uh, the Shenzhen visa, is this is usually a short stay visa given to me because I passed by France. Be, before I go to Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe is a French territory island, so it is a Caribbean island. So I, I asked for a long stay visa for Guadeloupe. So so before I arrive in Guadeloupe, they gave me, the embassy gave me this, the Shenzhen visa. So this entitled me to, to visit uh, any other place within Europe. So this is, the days allowed is 90 days. So valid 2014. And the other visa they gave me is the long stay visa. The type of visa is V Privé Familial because I was married to a French spouse. So, they gave me this. The long stay is valid from 2012 until October 2013. So, because it is only one year and it is long stay, it authorized me for work. But before that, um, the, uh, the embassy told me that I have to register in the the OFI or Office of the Immigration in France so upon your arrival before three months within three months of your arrival of course you have your long stay valid for one year but within three months of your arrival you have to go to the Office of the Immigration so you have to ask where it is located in your place so you have to go there you have to bring your original passport photos your proof of house for example, if you live with your in-laws or you you are just renting, so you have to show your proof of house. For example, because me, I was living with my mother-in-law, so I have to bring her her valid ID, only photocopies of her valid ID, and then the bill bill uh, uh, receipt. So within three months, bill is photocopy also and then a letter of hibernment so with signature of the owner or the rental rental of the house renter of the house so that's it the proof of the house so after that my photos of course white background and your husband I was I was I was asked also the the photocopy of my husband's uh, card identity so French card identity so since my husband that time he, he he had no job so only only my 
my photocopy of my passport, my photos, proof of house, and uh, the photo photocopy all parts of the passport so that's it and they will ask you this the first part with your name address and this the most important the cfo sticker this you get from the cfo after you finish your seminar so just present the certificates that i have told you and they will give you this the sticker without this sometimes in the airport you cannot pass so i have heard a friend that he was not able to come here in france because he has no cfo sticker so this is the cfo sticker so this has your name the the date of your visa the the country your immigrant number and the signature of the director like that so uh the stamps of your uh, of your arrival in france like that so all parts of it and so after that when you submit your papers to OFI they will have a, a little interview about you and they will tell you that they will send a letter in your house because as a spouse you will have a free medical examination so as for me I receive a letter from the OFI and on the letter they will tell you uh, which hospital you have to go and for me, my first medical exam was um, about lungs, so they just, you know, check the lungs like that, and it's free, totally free. So, after that, first medical exam, um, I had uh, also another second medical exam. It involves about uh, your eyesight, they test your eyesight, your balance, your, your heartbeat, like that, and it was funny because... In the Philippines, it was no, um, you, I was not asked to, you know, to remove my clothes, but in Guadalupe, I experienced that the doctor asked me to remove my clothes like that. I was shy, but it's okay. Actually, it's just normal for a doctor. So, anyway, like that. And they ask you if you have vaccination. So, as for me, since I was vaccinated in my country, usually all, all children or all babies have to be vaccinated, right? So usually in your clinic, in your barangay clinic, you have this uh, card that states that you have been vaccinated from baby to two years old, like that, until big. So, so you just have to bring that. So as for me, I was able to bring it because I asked my clinic uh, nurse to have it documented. So I have this and I show to the doctor. So I was free from vaccination. So therefore, I was not... I did not experience vaccination here in France because I had it already. Polio, measles, vaccination, like that. So just for to be sure that you are healthy. So after that, after the second medical exam, of course, that is through the letter also, and they state the address and the hospital. So that's it. So the third is you have to go back to the office. So you will receive a letter again or sometimes it's better to go back to the office or immigration office to ask for further information because as for me i didn't receive the third letter in the third letter they asked for a meeting so all the foreigners that was uh, subscribed to them so they asked their presence and we had a, a half day like a seminar about what's the life in france the culture in france the their motto like that about their flag the people the attitude the places to visit and the offices where you have to go for in case of emergencies if you express violence or any abuses like that so and that time uh, the person uh, or the employee asked us also if we can speak french so as for me i was not able to speak french and i never thought that france is really a french speaking country so I thought that a lot of people or majority of the people speak English but not so so therefore I I have to learn French but um, on that day on the third meeting I was uh, I was given this sticker that the immigration gave me so on the day on that third day you have to bring your stamps so these stamps I paid 241 euros because I, I get it uh, cheaper so 241 stamps 245 euros and again just bring the supporting documents proof of house like that so, and your passport of course do not forget so after that they gave me this stamp this is the office stamp so this one this this is a blue stamp 
So they will put there your passport number, vignette number, office number, visa number, stranger number, your name, address, where you are living in France. So they put the date like that. So as for me, I had it uh, January 29, 2013. So after this stamp, uh, the immigration told me that I have to go to the prefecture for my reno renewalment du card to Siju. So I thought that I am going to receive a letter but not because it's you personally you have to go to the prefecture if you want to renew your stay. As for me because uh, after one year it will expire so they said that two to two or three months before expiration of your visa you have to go to the prefecture and ask for the requirements so for me my since my visa expired october 2 2013 so i went there already august august 1 and i never thought that august is usually holidays for france so when i arrived there they gave me the uh, a form that list the requirements so the requirements were my photocopy of passport the proof of house uh, photo photo in white white background the uh, and then the yeah, yes that's it only that uh, photos proof of house and and my passport the copy this one copies photocopies so they asked me to send that by letter so i sent it by letter and I never thought that it will take time for me because it's, it was already uh, vacation time. So since I submitted August 1, the requirements in letter, so they asked me to come for a rendezvous for my renewal month to visa card to sejour, September 23, 2013. So it is already about two weeks before the expiration of my visa, so I, I worried a little. So when I went there September 23, it was kind of sad because my husband was not able to come so they just uh, get the documents they ask because they emailed me they they put the list of the documents i have to bring so i have to bring my passport original but usually they just ask for photocopies so photocopies of all parts of my passport uh, photos identity four pieces um proof of house emergement uh, authorization the photocopy of the the valid ID of the my mother-in-law, photocopy of the the card identity of my husband, his work because finally he has work so photocopy of his contract, the RSA, uh, CAF like that. So we we were able to subscribe to CAF because um, the salary is not enough for me and my husband. So I was asked to fill this up. So also the photocopy of the seminar. The seminar. Oh yes, I forget uh, uh, that spouse have to attend a one-day seminar it is about um, it is about the legalities in france it is a one-day seminar free seminar they actually give us free lunch that time so they will have a certificate from it so you have to photocopy it uh, also your medical result uh, all the certificate from ofi they will give you certificate during the third meeting also so uh, photocopy it and then my French language because I already finished my French language. I know actually I was still on my French language that time, so I gave them my formation proof that I am studying French. So all, 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 all photocopies I gave, but they asked me to come back for September 30 because they need my husband's present on that time. So finally on the 30th, yes, I came back with my husband. So only we did was um, his signature so he signed an attestation do uh it's like a attestation that you are living together so my husband signed there and i signed so after that everything was okay and they just gave me another rendezvous for the claiming of my court decision so i claimed this uh november 15 so the rendezvous was september 30 and then I claim my court decision in November 15.